guys. I've been doing this a good long while, and we're in the phase if this was running in time lapse where the volcano would be going into eruption mode. It's getting nuts out there. All right, let's hold hands and see if we can't get through this together. This week, 493 new salts were installed throughout the United States and Canada, bringing the total salt count to 73,800. Ayana opened two stations, Ready open nine. Flow open one. Pilot Flying J added four. Loves opened one. Tesla opened 11. Electrify America opened four. Actually, the Loves one, just so you know, this is in stealth mode. I'm going to explain that in a second. It's really a problem for me. But uh, Charge Point opened 24. It should be noted that every dispenser in Charge Point language is a stall. <clears throat> you go open nine stations, including a whopping 14 stall in San Francisco, uh, 17 for EV Connect. The Rivian Adventure Network opened two, but their station count decreased for some reason. Not sure why. Let's get into the data. Here's Ayana. The Bellin New Mexico Rechargery is now open for business. It was kind of lingering out there. They were having, it looked like a little bit of a uh, problem get the uh, energy delivered, but it is now operational underneath a canopy in New Mexico with uh, garbage can squeegees and all the trimmings. Nice lo looking canopy there. Whoops, let me go back. Also, um, not a public site is back, so ignore that. The Reynoldsburg, I don't know why this one is on here, but I did check last week's file and Reynoldsburg was not in last week's file so they took it out and added it back for some reason I do not know why maybe it was a clerical error or something but anyway so they really only opened two Middletown um, Maryland and Bell in New Mexico here's ready kicking ass another week with nine stations and um, I think we're going to have to do an intervention on these people. Everyone get your cue cards out and we'll sit down around a table and confront them for the crazy behavior that they're demonstrating here on the public forum. Look at all these stations. Not only are they adding more and more stations, the stall count's increasing. It's like they can't get enough. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I got a picture of this one here and I don't understand really what's going on here. This one is just strange. I don't know how much replicate because I don't really have time to go over each and every one of these. But uh, let's take a look at that text. See, all these eight ones, I think all these eight ones are probably going to be the same as what I'm about to show you here. I don't know what that is. It's not chem power. It's like a Chinese knockoff of a chem power or something. Maybe it is chem power. Uh, no, it says Vin EV. I don't know what that is. But they've pivoted their hardware from Autel, it looks like, to some other provider, so they can get more, you know, as... Um, anyway. Uh, so this is the uh, Carrollton, Texas one. Flow opened a single stall station in Manitoba. Why did I go back? Okay, Pilot Flying J, and if I'm not mistaken, this is Eric Way's Chevy Bolt charging in Orland, California, finally open. North Charleston, you can see six stalls. So not only are Pilot Flying J continuing to have their relentless increase of stations, they've decided to go big and starting to see more of these larger stall stations go in. This one here is a sleeper site. We didn't know about it. Um, it was actually on a pip in a coming soon map in the original cluster, but it got removed and now it's back and it opened up without us knowing it was under construction in Stanfield, Oregon. Open. Now, loves. Loves, 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 loves. I had my life in order. I was able to track loves using a charge point SQL query. No more. Because if you look at the station name, it doesn't say loves. And it doesn't say charge point. We're using electric air. We got eight stalls instead of four. And this is what it looks like in a beautiful area of Colorado. But I've got no way of tracking them. I've thought about this a good long while. The only way I have of tracking Love's builds, assuming they're going to pivot to electric air charging stations from now on, is to look at every single electric air charging station that comes online to see whether or not it's a Love's or not. And I'm not sure how to include that in any kind of running total query uh, that I've got available to me. So definitely problem, pro 
problematic from a tracking standpoint. I might have to like take them off and just uh, hand this over to Alan Yates to track or something. I'm not sure yet, but it's definitely a problem. And Tesla, without uh, without uh, relenting or pausing or anything, continues to just flood the North American market with charging stalls. I got a picture of, what do I got a picture of? It might be Pinellas Park. Let's go take a look. Yeah, Pinellas Park. V4 dispensers used last for handicap accessibility in a nice looking parking lot that's lit. Wouldn't mind spending time here, very pretty. One nice thing about Florida, they always put trees in their parking lot. I don't know why other people don't do that, but the state of Florida it seems like it's code or something, but they always have nice shaded trees um, anytime they put in a new parking lot. Electrify America had a really good week as well. This is Lake Mary, Florida at a Target. Uh, Ten stalls. And we got an eight stall in Palatine, Illinois. My sister lives in Palatine. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And uh, Williamsburg, Virginia Premium Outlets. Six stalls. Charge point. This is, I think it's Victor or something, Travel Authority, something like that in California. I got a whole bunch of charge point stations. And there are no pictures because these are going in so damn fast. They are not getting spotted and put into plug share. And then they open quickly. So charge point is definitely on a tear as far as uh, opening stations. They seem to be doing so with faster pace. And they are not getting put into plug share, spotted, and uh, recorded ahead of time. They're just getting the job done. Now EVgo has been kind of a absentee for a while, but apparently they were queuing a whole bunch up and they filled the Alternative Fuels data center with nine stations. Let me see if there's any near me. No, <laughs> yeah, all in California, except for this one in Pittsburgh. This one in Pittsburgh at the Sheets was a previous station and they posted into um, social media about how they're swapping out cables to NAX. So the Sheets is uh, got a new install date. Likely what they do, did is rip out the hardware, put in new hardware, and put in a whole bunch of uh, NAX handles as well. I think six uh, stations were upgraded to NAX, and it, this is one of them. I do have a picture, kind of a picture, of the San Francisco 14 stall. Let's go take a look at that. This uh, Google Street View, and you can see it captured during construction, and it's a lot right next to the uh, interstate up there. Um, nice little dedicated a lot for EVgo. They're not occupying a space at a shopping mall. It looks like they just bought land and started building a charging station. It's 14 stalls right in the heart of San Francisco. And here's EV Connect. As I said, this week has just been an eruption from all parties involved. And this family of car dealerships has decided to go big with EV charging. Um, they might have had chargers and converted to EV Connect, or they lit all these all at the same time, because you can see it's all uh, September 30th. And then Hamburger Barn in Arkansas. We got some charging, so we can have french fries and burgers while we get electrons in Arkansas. This is the city of Oviedo, and getting brand new chargers. I don't know what kind of chargers those are. Very nice looking. Uh, not lastly, Rivian also opened a very large station, 16 stalls. That's exceedingly large for them in Green River, Utah. So this person looks like they're going on a mountain bike adventure in Utah and filling up their electrons prior to. Lastly, CPO Loop. I interviewed their CEO, I think it was about two months ago. And she indicated that uh, they generally don't do DC fast chargers, but here we are with uh, four DC fast charger stations being operated by Loop getting put into the Alternative Fuels Data Center. And I suspect these were already in operation, and then they just recently got added to the uh, database. The one we are looking at is the sixth stall in Idaho Springs. Thanks for watching.